Hello and welcome to this exercise on algebraic inequality uh, is from uh, a past exam uh, paper and as usual I'm not only going to just uh, answer the question I'm going to go beyond that so in effect I've got two methods uh, in fact I've got three methods for this uh, question here and I hope you bear with me to the end right now firstly what I do here is I'll move my three to the left hand side and by so doing the uh, the sign will change to minus 3 and then I expand the bracket and I end up with uh, 2x squared plus x minus 4x minus 2 minus 3 is less than or equal to 0 when we collect like terms we end up with 2x squared minus 3x minus 5 is less than or equal to 0. We now need to factorize in order to find the critical points and we have this here which then means that our critical points not our values but our critical points will be x is minus 1 and x at uh, 5 over 2. We don't have to test. Now suppose we choose a value uh, where x is less than minus 1, suppose we choose a value of minus 2 and then substitute this into this expression there we have 11 and 11 is not less than 0 so minus 2 is not valid so any values less than minus 1 will not be valid similarly if we test values greater than uh, x equal to 5 over 2 suppose you try 3 and then substitute 3 into this expression here we end up with 4 and 4 is not less than 0 so values greater than x values greater than 5 over 2 will not be valid right now let's try x equal to 0 and 0 is between minus 1 and 5 over 2 when we try x equal to 0 we end up with minus 5 and minus 5 is less than 0 so it will seem to us that values between minus 1 and 5 over 2 will be valid so values of x greater than minus 1 and less than 5 over 2 will be valid now let's try minus 1 now if we substitute minus 1 into this expression here we end up with minus 7 so our minus 7 is less than um, 0 so that's valid now let's try x is 5 over 2 again into this expression here we end up with uh, 0 and 0 is equal to 0 which is what we expect and so our solution set will be um, x is greater than or equal to minus 1 and less than or equal to equal to 5 over 2 right now for the graphical method now what I've done here, I've done two graphs, in fact I've done two, actually there are four graphs here I, sh I shall explain. Now firstly, we look at this one here. Right, now first if we draw the graph of y is equal to 3, uh, which is that one there, and bear in mind that this graph here, the line is solid because we got the equal sign there. So it's a solid line. Right, next we draw this graph here, y is equal to x minus 2 times 2x plus 1 and that's what we got there so that's a green graph there next we draw this graph here the graph of 2x squared minus 3x minus 5 and that's what we got, and that's the red graph okay and lastly it's already done for us lastly the graph of y is equal to 0 is is in effect the x-axis so we've got four different graphs here right let's start with the green one we want values of this graph such that all the x values will be less than three sorry sorry all the x values will give us y values of less than three so in effect any x values on between those in between the graph there will be valid i hope that makes sense 
all the x values between the green graph will be valid so in fact the critical point is um, at the point y is equal to 3 the critical point is x is minus 1 and x is 2.5 okay similarly for this one here this expression and this graph here this graph calls the x-axis or the graph of y is equal to zero at the points minus one as you see as there and five over two so in effect all the x values between this graph here will give us y values less than zero as we can see there so in effect so that's our solution there so the, our solution will be uh, x is greater than or equal to minus one and less than or equal to 2.5 as we done. So in fact, the two answers from either this graph or that graph will give us the same uh, x values of minus one and five over two. And I hope all that makes sense.